What's going on, everybody? I have had the pleasure of using the Samsung Note for about three or four weeks now. And I can tell you, I am actually really impressed with this phone. It's a nice phone, um, and it's it's more than just the giant screen on it. Although the 5.3-inch Super AMOLED display is really nice. As you can see, it's really sharp. Um, it does have 16 million colors, and it is 1280 by 800. And it's just gorgeous. I probably, you probably can't see just how nice this screen is. Um, but trust me, it's one of the best screens I've ever seen on a cell phone. The other thing you're going to know, just some key specs about this phone, is it has a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor. It's got an 8 megapixel camera on the back. It has a 2500 milliamp battery, which seems like a lot. Um, but on a phone this size, it'll it'll just get you through the day, which is pretty much all you can ask out of uh, any smartphone these days. It's got 16 gigabytes of internal memory. And what's really nice is while the trend is going away from micro SD cards, this still will accept a 30 up to a 32 gig micro SD card. This comes stock with uh, Android 2.36, a.k.a. gingerbread, as it's more commonly known. Um, I have not gotten any updates for it. You, let's take a quick tour around the phone. Um, like I said, your 5.3 inch display. If you go to the bottom, there is your USB port. If you go to the side there, you probably can't see it, but there is your power button. There is your three and a half millimeter headphone jack and just your volume button here on the back you do have your 8 megapixel camera with your uh, flash and then on the front there right there you have a 2 megapixel front facing camera um, and then also with this you can note that it's just really, really thin, and it feels really good in the hand. As far as design goes, I actually really like it. Um, the back's kind of got a texture to it, so you don't drop it. It's grippy, and for the thinness of it, that's really good. That it's plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap. Um, it's kind of big, naturally but it's not as big as you would expect it to be, being a 5.3 inch screen. And then tucked away, I'm not sure what I hit there. It's perfect actually. Tucked away under here is your S Pen. And delete that. Let's start a new one. As you can see, it works just perfectly. Um, I've tried this with my other phones. This pen only works with this phone. I'm not quite sure how they did this. Um, but I've tried this with my Titan. And I've tried it with the Nokias I have. And it doesn't work with any other phone but this one. So I'm not quite sure how that quite is. <laughs> If you want to see a size comparison next to something else, this is the HTC Titan 2, and this is a giant screen also, um, but it kind of dwarfs it. This is a 4.7 inch screen, so if you just get a general idea on that one. Um, overall, I find it to be a good phone. The camera in my opinion, leave something to be desired, but just by the fact that I'm used to, um, say, the Nokia N8 or the HTC Titan 2 with the 16 megapixel camera, the 8 megapixel camera just doesn't satisfy me. It would probably satisfy anybody else that's not used to a really, really good camera phone. It takes good pictures outside, takes good pictures in great lighting. Once you get indoors, it kind of gets a little shoddy. Um, but other than that, I really enjoyed it. Is this phone for everybody? 
No, um, if you would have this and you're not used to something like this or you just simply don't need this, you're going to want to steer clear. I don't want to call it a niche phone being that so many millions upon millions have been sold, but it's not for everybody and it still gets uh, some head turns when you bring it out. It does fight, fit quite nicely in your pocket surprisingly in the front in the back and i even keep it in my front pocket with my wallet and it's not that uncomfortable you're not going to be uh, if you're standing up and sitting down standing up and sitting down it's not that great for you but if every day you throw it in your pocket walking through the mall or just going about your job it's fine um, and it really does nicely bridge that gap between smartphone and tablet that people need. Um, surprised more business people do not carry this phone just for that reason. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments naturally or you can give me a tweet. Uh, it is at Nokia Knowings. Thanks for watching.